Hey, what is up my fellow app builders? Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to the channel. I really hope you guys are having as much fun learning as I am having fun teaching you guys how to build really, really good iOS apps. So for today, what are we going to do? Well, we're gonna do something a little bit different today and we're gonna talk about how to use Swift enums or enumerations to kind of fix your code so that you don't allow bugs to slip in. Okay, now having said that, what is a uh, what is a Swift enum or enumeration, right? I'm gonna read the, uh, the, the official definition from the website, uh, developer.apple.com, and it says enumerations uh, right here. An enumeration defines a common type for a group of related values and enables you to work with those values in a type safe way within your code. So a lot of uh, theory right there, and it might sound a little confusing, so I'm gonna go into Xcode, and we're gonna take a look at one really, really simple example to show you what it kind of is, and then I'm gonna uh, show you an example of how to use it so that you can make sure your code doesn't break, okay? So let's go into Xcode here, and I am going to use this project. So I'm gonna run this code right now. And this application launches our YouTube app so far. And we have this menu system here that we've built out and we want to actually improve it so that we can change this cancel label at the very bottom, okay? But first, let me show you what a Swift enumeration is, okay? So I'm gonna go into the project here. Let's go to setting cell. And inside of setting cell, we have the name label here that represents this label inside of this menu. And I can actually change the text alignment for the uh, uh, the label text right here. If I just type in label dot text alignment like that, I can type in a value of center or various other values like justified, natural, and right. Let's do center for now. And running this application, we've just changed the alignment so that the label is directly in the middle of the menu. So that's how it looks like. And if we do it for the right value, obviously the text will get shifted all the way to the right of the label, like this. And it's kind of left aligned to the right edge. So that's how um, a Swift enum works. So I call it enum, some people call it enums, and either way is fine. And what this kind of allows you to do is it allows you to specify this text alignment variable to be only a certain set of values. So if I type in like, for example, this center string here and try to run, it's not gonna let me build the application because a string, which is this type here, it does not match the NS text alignment type, okay? So let's go back to dot center right there. And if I command click into text alignment, it says right here that text alignment is of this type and as text alignment and it's defaulted to this alignment of left. Which means that I can actually do this and this will be the exact same value as the default value. So I'm gonna run this and hit the menu and we get this menu over here. So it looks exactly the same and because left is the default value, we can just simply remove it and it'll be the exact same functionality. So that's what an enum is. It's pretty cool. It allows you to make your code very type safe so that it doesn't allow a bug or a potential bug that could slip in. And that bug, for example, is what I'm gonna show you right now. So in the last video, I mentioned this bottom row right here that says cancel. And when you cancel, you wanna just dismiss this menu without showing a brand new view controller like this. So that's the potential bug that we can have in our code. So everything works fine right now. However, if I go to settings launcher and I go into this settings array that we construct all of these settings, and if I type in here, let's say for example, cancel and this, this miss right there, and I just run the application, I'm going to hit the cancel and dismiss menu item right here on the bottom and I would expect for it to just simply dismiss and not show a new view controller like that, right? So the reason why it shows this cancel and dismiss controller is because inside of handle dismiss, 
we've taken this setting variable and then we check upon animation completion for this block here, we check if the string of the setting, if it's cancel, um, we don't show a view controller. So basically this only happens if the setting name is not this cancel string. So that's a string check and this is where the problem occurs. And hopefully you guys will be able to learn from this very good practice here. And in order to fix this so that the code still works, I want to introduce an enum for this setting name. So how do I kind of do that, right? Well, if we go to this setting class at the very top of the file, let's just go directly under it and specify enum right here. And this will be setting name will be the enum right there. And then here we'll say it is a type string, okay? And for case, we'll just say uh, cancel will be this. And we'll just set it, set it equal to this cancel string. Okay, and I'll build and everything builds, it looks fine. And now I'm gonna use this setting name inside of this actual setting here. So if I change this name type to setting name, so let's go name like right there. And then now I need to also change this string type to setting name. And now it compiles right there. And I'm gonna hit build. So now what happens is that all of these setting constructors are going to complain because these strings in here are no longer the correct type for this setting name. So I actually need to specify a, uh, a setting name like this. So let's see, let cancel setting equals setting right here. And let's do the constructor. And in here I can just hit enter and hit dot and I can hit this cancel right there, okay? And the image name will still be the same. Just take this cancel here, and it will be a string still. And that's where we get our cancel setting, okay? So I can actually copy this and paste that there, and we get our cancel setting, right? So now I am going to kind of go through this. It's a little bit tedious, but I will actually need to specify the rest of these settings here. So let's say setting, setting so this is the actual settings setting a little confusing but that's what we decided to name it here it's setting settings and settings so i'm going to type this out right now let's see uh, let's see how can i make this a little faster so with this it's very convenient if we just remove this here and we just use this setting uh setting right here and here we can actually get this to just say dot setting, but you see how it doesn't show up exactly. And that's because we need to say settings right here equals setting, settings actually. And this will say settings right here. And we get that. So let's just type out the rest of the settings variable strings up here. So case uh, terms privacy will equal terms and privacy, let's see, lowercase privacy policy. Uh, next one will be uh, send feedback. This will just say send feedback. You notice how all these are just strings inside of my enum. So help, help right there. In case, let's see, switch account will be this final switch, let's see, switch account enum. Okay, now that we have all that ready, we can just change this right here to say dot uh, terms privacy. So sometimes it doesn't come up in the autocomplete because we're inside of this let block here and Swift just isn't smart enough yet to figure out what the enum is, okay? So this will say send feedback. We just need to type it out and we're okay. And this will be dot help. And finally we get this to say dot switch account. I'm gonna build and now we are okay. So I'm gonna build and you see we have this little error right here and here it's actually checking for the string of cancel and this empty string right here. So if I just remove this entire check and say setting dot name, see dot name 
is not equal dot cancel right there. You see the autocomplete comes up. And if I try to run now, it'll actually run okay, except for this little crash that we get inside of settings cell. So I'm gonna click here, it's going to crash. And we get this crash here inside of settings cell. Let's see, settings cell. And basically it's trying to set name label dot text equal this setting name variable, but this is not a string, but, and it's expecting a string for text. So the fix for this would be raw value, and it gives you this string. So that's how you would fix that. And running the application now, we'll have the fixed menu with all of our settings back into the list, but we're very, very type safe setting the name now. So going back to settings launcher, let's see. And going back up to this area, we are okay. And let me now show you what we can do. So in the previous code, we weren't able to change the cancel text for the cancel menu item. And if I just change the cancel and dismiss, let's see, dismiss so the actual label now, we can, let's see, string, okay. So this is actually somewhere else that it's crashing as well. So we're going to say a raw value. And whenever we push the new controller, we actually set the title to the string as well. So here is what happens. I'm gonna click here. We get terms and privacy. It gets the string, sets it on this dummy view controller. And let's look at the very bottom item here, cancel and dismiss. When I click cancel and dismiss, it's going to cancel and nothing happens, which is what we want to occur. So what we've introduced now into the application is a type safe way to change the string of a piece of text here to whatever we want it to be and allowing us to easily modify uh, text and not break the code. So if I type here completely, the text will change and the functionality where cancel only dismisses is still maintained. So click here, we don't get anything. And we click here, we get send feedback, uh, introduces another send feedback view controller onto the stack. And that's how we uh, get all of this to work so that your code is more bug free. Cool. All right, that about wraps it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini video, it's a lot shorter than the usual length. And if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps out the channel. And also the project for today is available in the description link where you can download the entire project with the settings or with the assets and the settings code as well. So make sure to look out for that. And uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter and give me a message, you can do that as well. Uh, you can find me at build that app. All right, that's about it. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.